Good morning. Today we are going to look at icons and how you can produce great icons like this using a free plugin called the Icon Block. Block of the week. Block of the week. Yeah. Block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. So this is the plugin we're going to be using. It's called the Icon Block and it's a free plugin and it's beautifully built. So it's really, really top notch stuff. There's five things I want to show you how to do today. They're all going to be very useful for you, hopefully. Uh, right. The first one is I'm going to show you how to add icons using this plugin. The second is, I'm, as you can see on the screen here, I'm going to show you how you can put an icon and then text next to it, which is a really common request. And there's a way to do this now using WordPress and the block editor. Third, I'm going to show you how you can customize the color of the icons. Fourth, I'm going to show you how you can customize the size of the icons. Finally, I'm going to show you how you can actually upload your own icons as well. So let's get into it. So first up, you need to install the Icon Block plugin, which is free. I will put a link to it in the description below. Once you've installed it, you click on the blue sign to add a block and just search for Icon here. And you'll see it's listed here. That's the plugin we want, the block. Just click that to add it into the page. And now you're confronted with two choices. You can either uh, browse the uh, icons that come with the plugin. There's over 200, so you've got tons of choices. Or you can add your own custom ones, which I'm going to show you how to do. A little bit later but I'm going to choose the existing one here so click on browse icon library now it's going to show you a few here but I recommend you click on browse all down here because that's going to open up the full range of icons that you can add into your page this is this is great you can also change the preview size over here if you want to but essentially this you'll start off by listing all the blocks all the icons then down the left here you can filter them by arrows blocks devices editor logos and media and you'll see you get different logos here or you can search here so if I search for Facebook for example that'll find the Facebook logo. Then to add it, all you do is click on it, nice and straightforward, there's the Facebook logo. Now if I click on this and go over to the block uh, settings panel, you'll see I've got a bunch of options to customize that individual logo. So if I want to add a custom color, I could just change the color of it. Uh, you can also change the background color as well if you want to, so I can add a background around it like so. So you can see you can sort of play around. The other really cool thing that you can do with this is because these are SVGs, they are an infinitely scalable graphic format because they're not defined by pixels. They're defined by maths, essentially, which I'm going to show you a bit later on. But what that means for us is we can scale these up and down with no loss of quality whatsoever. So they're, they're great. You can, you can size them any way you like. So that's how you add icons. Next up, I want to show you how you can have an icon followed by text. So a really common question I get asked is how can you have your own icon followed by a bit of text like I've got up on the screen? And especially when full site editing comes into play, you might want these in the footer or potentially along your menu. So this is how you do it. Now we're gonna need for now the Gutenberg plugin to do this because that comes with a new block called the Roadblock. Come 5.9 in December, when WordPress 5.9 is released, this, this will be into the core of WordPress, so you won't need the Gutenberg plugin, but for now we do. And what's nice about the Roadblock, it lets you add blocks in a row, essentially. So let me show you how it works. So let me just find the Roadblock, which is here. It's just another block. You add it into your page. And let me just turn on the list view so we can see what's going on here. And here it is. Can you see there's the Roadblock? And it starts you off with a a little plus which is kind of telling us to add a block so all I have to do is add a block search for icon and then we're basically going through the same process again let me just add the WordPress logo on but now we can actually add a block after it can you see it's kind of prompting me to add a block so if I added a paragraph block after this you'll see you can actually write text after it now often what will happen is you should see a little plus here it's a little bit kind of buggy at the moment I'd say so a way around this if you don't see a block after it like I'm not here what you actually can do is add another block afterwards I'm sure this will improve before uh, WordPress 5.9 comes out let me just add the sparkles one here and then what you can actually do is just drag it in the list view over on the left here and pop it into the same row like I'm doing I'm trying to do here can you see that you see that and now it's actually added it into the same row so this is a bit kind of hit and miss at the moment how this works but the way around it is just to use this list view over on the left because um, it's not quite you know working quite properly so you just add a block underneath it essentially like I'm doing the icon block and then once you've chosen your icon just drag it using the list view over on the left to the place where you want it to go you see that the list view is incredibly useful for this and you can see how they're just adding across here so that's how you can have an icon followed by text the final thing I want to show you is how you can upload and use your own 
SVG icons and there's two great resources which I will link to in the description below that I recommend that you can use for this. The first is Google Material Design uh, SVGs and the second one is Font Awesome. They both, um, to use them is slightly different on each so I'll show you both but they're, they're both pretty straightforward. Uh, let's start with the Google way. So these are Google Material Font and you just come, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you but do, you just come here and if you like any of these you just click on it and over on the bottom right here can you see there's an SVG download and you just click on that and that's going to download that SVG to your computer. Now I just want to show you, because I think this is quite interesting anyway, what an SVG file actually looks like. So what I'm going to do is drag it to my desktop and then I'm going to open it just with a text editor here. So you can actually see, can you see it's actually, so this is what I mean, let me make this bigger for you. This is what I mean when I said that SVG is defined by mass. It's not actually defined by pixels, it's defined by this mass here. So what we're going to do is copy that a bunch of code. Then we're going to go back to our uh, page that we've been working on. Here it is. And we're going to add the icon block again. So I'm just going to click add to uh, add the icon block and add it into my page. Now instead of browsing the icon library, I'm going to add my custom icon and it's going to open up this panel and I literally just paste that code in and over on the right here you can actually see a preview of it and again because it's SVG we have all the same controls so we can change the size of it how cool is that we can change the color of it so there we go so that's how you can use the um, the Google icons the font awesome ones again I will link to them below for you are a little bit easier actually this is how you do those so I'm on the font awesome website I'm going to search for rocket some of these are pro, just be beware of that, that they won't let you actually download them. There's my icon. Now with this one, all you have to do is click this little icon here, which which says copy, copy S3G code, copy that. Essentially, it's done the same thing. So now let me just replace this one. You just replace that code or add your new code. And can you see there's my new rocket? Again, it's an SVG. So we have all the same controls that we can style it. You could even add your own custom CSS to it if you wanted to. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more Gutenberg block editor videos, hit the subscribe button because I'm producing a bunch these days. And if you like this video, it'd be amazing if you can give it a like because that just helps share the word about the channel. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.